So if if you're you're if if you're have a patient who comes to your office and she's complaining of uh, pain with menses, okay, we call that dysmenorrhea, and that's um, could be endometriosis. But when a patient tells you that the week before her period she begins to have pain and the pain is severe. Uh, seven to ten days before the period gets worse and worse and then once she begins to menstruate the pain improves this is suspicious for endometriosis this is those implants beginning to be fed uh, by estrogen beginning to grow swell and cause pain when a patient tells you she's had issues with infertility she has had uh, visits to pain clinics um, and no one can find anything that she's had ultrasounds and no one can find anything. These are also uh, big red flags for endometriosis. Why? Because endometriosis is really a two-dimensional disease. It's um, endometriotic implants, endometri endometrium being located outside the uterus. And it doesn't really show up on ultrasound unless it's uh, developed in the ovary uh, women can have a particular type of cyst within the ovary filled with endometriosis and that does have a particular appearance on ultrasound but that's a fairly advanced case of endometriosis and unless you see that and your pelvic ultrasound may look perfectly normal so just because you have a an unremarkable pelvic ultrasound do not as a clinician believe that your patient might not have endometriosis um, it, it really takes uh, a little bit better history taking to understand um, what else is going on. Um, we know that risks of endometriosis, there is a genetic um, predisposition. We know that women that have heavier, shorter cycles are at increased risk of endometriosis. There's even a link between endometriosis and asthma. So it's, um, it's important if you suspect it, but you don't feel sure about how to make the diagnosis, refer that patient to, um, to an OBGYN. Or if you're an OBGYN and you're not sure, um, refer that patient to someone with um, uh, extra training. I mean, there are clinics, endometriosis clinics, uh, and find someone in your community who has a particular expertise because it's too important to not miss. And many women with endometriosis end up not getting properly diagnosed until their fourth, fifth, or sixth physician.